If you have a heart or circulation condition, learn how hot weather can impact you and what you can do to stay cool. Scope Care was founded to assist carers, family, friends, and patients undergoing and recuperating from major heart surgery. It is a specialized organization that focuses solely on the cardiac rehabilitation process, providing healing gardens, online resources, meal plans prepared by medical and healthcare professionals, and counseling and support for patients and their loved ones on a holistic recovery journey. According to Dr. Donald Lloyd-Jones, president of the American Heart Association, and chair of the Department of Preventative Medicine at Northwestern Medicine in Chicago, hot weather may be both energizing and dangerous to one's health. While heat and humidity are more dangerous for the elderly and persons taking medications for specific ailments, it's vital to remember that high temperatures can also be dangerous for younger, healthy people who don't take measures. Heat may affect anyone, says Dr. Michael Emery, co-director of Cleveland Clinic Sports Cardiology Center. The dangers increase as the temperature and humidity levels rise. Physical labor or strenuous exercise in hot and humid settings increases the risk. The effects of temperature on the heart. Even when it's hot outside, blood vessels aid in the removal of surplus heat. This simple biological mechanism is what generally keeps us cool. However, this simple function can fail if the air temperature begins to approach or exceed your body's usual temperature. When a 100 degree day occurs with an exceptionally humid day, such as when the humidity exceeds 75%, the body's evaporation process is severely impaired. This means that even strolling around in 100 degree temperatures might produce dizziness and heart palpitations. Physical activity, in addition to the heat, can lead to significant complications, such as heat stroke or heat exhaustion. During hot and humid conditions, everyone is at risk of experiencing heart strain. However, certain patients should exercise caution if they expect to be outside in scorching weather, particularly during periods of high activity. Patients over the age of 45, children under the age of 5, and those who have had or are at risk of heart disease should always exercise caution when hot outside. Patients with high blood pressure and hypertension are included. Running, walking or jogging, as well as playing tennis, cycling and trekking are all activities you should avoid on hot and humid days. This isn't to say you can't participate in your favorite activities or sports. Be mindful of the temperature and humidity levels, your level of hydration and how long you've been physically active. The dangerous effects of heat. On hot, humid days, your heart must work harder to trigger the sweating response, which cools your body. Extra pumping can stress the cardiovascular system in persons who already have a weak heart. This combo has the potential to be lethal. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, hundreds of people die in the United States each year due to heat. According to CDC research published in 2020, an average of 702 heat-related deaths occurred in the United States per year between 2004 and 2018. Heat is the underlying condition in 415 of these deaths each year and is a contributory condition in 287. In addition, according to the paper, extreme heat might aggravate certain chronic medical disorders such as hypertension and heart disease. The use of alcohol or drugs, such as amphetamine and cocaine, is also a risk factor for heat-related mortality. According to the research, heat exposure was a contributing factor in several alcohol poisoning and drug overdose deaths. During periods of high heat, there is a considerable increase in the chance of death from an unintentional cocaine overdose. According to the findings, several people whose deaths were assigned to mental and behavioral illnesses as the underlying cause of death were given codes suggesting heat is a contributing cause. In addition to impairing the body's ability to cope with heat stress, certain psychiatric illnesses might alter risk perception and lessen awareness to current hot conditions, according to the paper. According to a study published in the journal Nature Climate Change in 2021, heat waves linked to climate change are responsible for more than one-third of all heat-related deaths worldwide. According to a study published in GeoHealth in 2020, premature fatalities from heat exposure are expected to climb by 50,000 to 110,000 per year by the end of the century due to climate change. Heat and the elderly. The ability of old persons to control their body temperature is diminished. Furthermore, 80% or more of adults age 70 and up have excessive blood pressure. In addition, many people are taking drugs to treat the disease, which might suppress the body's natural responses to cool down. People's capacity to regulate their core temperature can deteriorate as they age. Heat exhaustion occurs when the body's ability to cool itself fails. 
Heat exhaustion symptoms include weariness, nausea, headaches, disorientation, and muscle twitching. If those symptoms worsen, they can lead to heat stroke, when a person's core temperature climbs above 104 degrees, causing central nervous system issues. Organs may begin to fail at that moment. There is a medical emergency. When this occurs, people experience hot and dry sensations rather than clammy and weak sensations. Plaque frequently begins to accumulate in the arteries with age, causing them to stiffen. Furthermore, the elderly may not feel as thirsty in the heat, and they may not notice indicators that they need to hydrate. Blood pressure lowers during heat exhaustion, which can be harmful because it can lead people to become unsteady and fall or faint. Dehydration One of the most common causes of heat exhaustion is dehydration, which occurs when the body does not have enough liquids. As a result, blood volume decreases, preventing the heat from effectively filling and pumping blood to the body's organs. In severe circumstances, organs will not receive enough blood to operate normally. In severe cases of dehydration, fluids must be administered intravenously. Mild dehydration, characterized by thirst and low energy, is frequent and can be reversed by consuming fluids. We all lose more fluid in 95-100 degree temperatures, says Dr. Melissa J. Wood, co-director of the Corrigan Women's Heart Health Program at Massachusetts General Hospital Heart Center and an assistant professor of medicine at Harvard Medical School. Even if they're sitting by the pool, people don't realize they're losing fluid by breathing. Droplets of fluid are present in your breath. The air removes moisture from the skin. People lose a lot of fluid when they conduct outside activities like biking or gardening. If you exercise, you lose a lot of volumes, Wood says. Take water with you if you're going to be exercising for more than 30 minutes. Drink water or electrolyte-enriched water. To keep muscles and organs healthy, it's critical to restore sodium, potassium, magnesium, and other electrolytes. Electrolytes aid in biological functions such as heart rate regulation and muscular contraction. They become taxed when they are low and when the body does not have enough fluid. The cardiovascular system is under higher strain, adds Wood. The heart and blood vessels are under more strain. Tips for keeping your heart healthy in the heat. Heart professionals recommend the following six precautions to protect your heart throughout the summer. Hydrate. If you're spending time outside in excessive heat, make sure to drink lots of water before, during, and after. Monitoring your urine production is one technique to assess if you're drinking enough fluids. If your urine is light or colorless, it indicates that you're drinking enough water. However, if your urine turns black or concentrated, it indicates that your kidneys are attempting to retain it and that you are not consuming enough water, according to Lloyd-Jones. Caffeine and alcohol should be avoided. On hot days, it's recommended to avoid alcoholic and caffeine-containing beverages. These beverages irritate the heart and impair your body's capacity to regulate its temperature. Dress appropriately for the heat. Lightweight clothing, light colors, breathable fabrics, and a sun hat are all ideal. Sunscreen will also assist in lowering the amount of heat you absorb, according to Lloyd-Jones. Stay inside from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. during peak solar hours. Exercise in the early morning or late evening and bring a friend for safety. You can also exercise indoors by using a treadmill or a stationary bike. Continue to take your meds. If you begin to feel lightheaded in the heat, consult your doctor. During hot weather, your doctor may change your prescriptions and will most likely advise you to stay hydrated. Get used to the heat. Begin exposing yourself to the heat gradually, day by day. Spending a little extra time in hot weather each day will help your body acclimate to the excessive heat and humidity. While it is true that the elderly and the very young should be the most cautious in excessive heat, heat-related problems can affect anyone at any age. According to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, Heat-related illness causes approximately 600 fatalities and 65,000 emergency room visits in the United States each year. Heat exhaustion, heat stroke, and dehydration can all be harmful. In addition, hot weather requires your body to work harder to maintain an average core temperature, putting additional strain on your heart, lungs, and kidneys. This indicates that if you have a heart issue, you may be at a higher risk. As a result, it's critical to stay cool and hydrated while also protecting yourself from the perils of heat. Scope Care is a secure and healing environment for patients and carers, seeking to make every part relatable and motivating, from new and educational social material to stress-relieving walks through the green spaces. Subscribe to see more videos like this.